with green yarn and a size I hook, chain 61. Row 1. Single crochet in the second chain from the hook and in each chain across. At the end of the row, chain 1 and turn. Row 2. Single crochet in the back loop of each of the next 6 stitches. Single crochet in the next stitch and double crochet in the next stitch. You'll do this 24 times. For rows 2 to 12, you'll back loop single crochet in each of the six stitches at the beginning and make a single crochet a double crochet 24 times in each of the next 48 stitches. At the end you will single crochet in the back loop only of the last six stitches. You will repeat this for rows 2 through 12. At the end of the, each row, you have made 60 stitches and you will chain one and turn. Row 12. At the end of this row, end off and weave in the end. Put a marker in the 18th stitch from the right edge. Attach the green yarn in this stitch. When the yarn is attached, chain one and single crochet in the first stitch. You will double crochet in the next stitch and you will repeat this pattern of single crochet in one stitch, double crochet in the next stitch 13 times, leaving the remaining stitches unworked.
end off and weave in the end at the last row. Your piece should look like this. Fold your piece in half so it looks like a sock. Pin and sew the seam. Flip the piece over and match the cuff and arm. Pin together, leaving the cup end open. This will be where you sew the bottom. Turn the entire piece to the right side. Tuck the long open edge down into the center and pull to the bottom. This will be the part that your can will fit into. It is not necessary, but I like to pin the bottom raw edge and sew it together or you can crochet it together. It just makes putting in the bottom easier. For the bottom, make a magic circle. Chain two and make 12 double crochets in the circle. Join to the top of the beginning chain or beginning double crochet with a slip stitch. Round two, chain one and make two half double crochets in the next stitch. Half double crochet in the next stitch. Do this around. Chain one, make two half double crochets in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch. Do this around. Join to the top of the beginning half double crochet. Sew the bottom you just made to the bottom of the can holder at the open end. Eyes and fins. For the eyes with, a, with black, make a magic circle. Chain one and make six single crochets in the magic circle. Do not join. Round two, make two single crochet, crochets in each stitch around for a total of 12 single crochets. At the end of this round, join end off and weave in your end. Join green yarn in any stitch from the 12 stitches around. Chain one and single crochet in each of the 12 stitches. Do not join. Round four, double or single crochet the next two stitches together. Do this six times for a total of six stitches. End off leaving a long tail. Stuff the eye lightly with clippings of yarn or stuffing. Thread a darning needle and weave through all the last six stitches. 
draw up to close the end. Fold the piece in half and mark off two spots on either side of the half as shown above for the eye placement. Sew both eyes together at the markings, being very careful not to sew the can opening on the inside shut so you'll be able to place your hand through. Slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. In the next stitch, make a single crochet and a half double crochet. Make two double crochets in the next stitch. Make a double crochet and a half double crochet in the next stitch. Slip stitch in the next chain. Half double crochet and double crochet in the next chain. Make two double crochets in the next chain. Make a half double crochet and a single crochet in the next chain. Slip stitch in the last chain. End off leaving a long tail. Thread a darning needle with the long tail. Sew the ends together at the slip stitches to form a little ring. Mark the center of her mouth again. Pin the mouth in place. Once again, sew the mouth to the fish's front, being careful not to show the mitten part closed. You will be scrunching the lips a little to give them some dimension as you sew them in place. To begin the fins, leave a long tail and chain eight. We're going to treble crochet in the fifth chain from the hook. Next, make two treble crochets in the next chain three times. End off and weave in the end. Mark and pin to both sides. Using the long tail you left earlier, sew in place. Repeat for the other fin. Enjoy.